Hey, Facebook world. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I figured I'd holler at you this evening. I look a mess. I can see that. But anyway, I'm going to be uh, working on some uh, smothered chicken tonight. And I thought I'd show you. I got a start on it. I cut my chicken up. And I have my se chicken all seasoned up and everything. And I'm going to quick fry it in there with the skin on it. And it's got a light flour with uh, a bunch of seasonings and stuff all in it. Different seasonings. Whatever you want to put on it, right? But I'm just going to cook it and um, just cook it enough to get me a good crisp on it like, right? I've got found a uh, serrano pepper left in there, so I cut that up for some flavor in it. Once I get this, I'll flip it around and get it crunchy, and I'm going to take it out of there. And uh, I'm going to make me some gravy in that, some real watery gravy. And uh, then I'm going to end up putting one of these packets of soup mix in there and stirring that up. And I'll get it all watery, real watery gravy like, and then I'm going to place my chicken back down in there. That's all I'm going to do. And I will turn it back down real low and put a lid on it and let it simmer. And uh, I'll fix some rice with that. And I got a thing of carrots here. I'm going to uh, do buzzard some uh, carrots done in some olive oil and some seasoning in the, and roast them in the oven in there. But uh, I'm going to go out to the garden and get some green onions and stuff and chip up in there and do some of that. And uh, we'll see uh, how it turns out and stuff. And I'll show y'all uh, after I get the uh, gravy and stuff going in it and let you see how that's working and, and everything before I put the lid on it. So it's a busy evening here on the hill. And uh, I just wanted to show y'all how I'm working on this smothered chicken and, and how easy that is to do and uh, how to work on that feed your family okay so i've taken my chicken up see i got my chicken just browned and everything it is not done it's just just crispy on the outside right and so i left my oil in there and i put me a little bit of flour in here and i'm getting my flour uh brown i want my flour to brown some I left my pieces of pepper in there and I added some, some uh, salt and pepper to this. That's all I added to this because there's seasoning and stuff all in my chicken uh, coating, right? And so now that I've got this browned enough, I'm going to take me some water and just add in here. Like I say, always be careful adding that water because it's going to steam up on you. So now while I got that going, I'm going to go ahead and add my whole pack of onion soup mix to this. Get it going in here. And that'll be packed with flavor. Flavor, flavor. We'll get this going and get it hot and bubbly and I'll add, probably add more water to it even. And as thin as I can make it. But, uh, that way it will it, it will thicken up as well because of the fact that I have a floured coating on the outside of the chicken, right? So that's going to make it thicken up some more afterwards. Let me get me some more water now. I'm just walking around with the phone in my hand. I'm multitasking today, y'all. Multitasking. But I wanted y'all to see this because smothered chicken is such a good comfort food so i just added more water in there see how watery i got it now got it good and stirred up i'm gonna go ahead now and put my chicken pieces back in there just set them down in here in it and for this i had a whole chicken right i was going to show y'all how to cut up a chicken i need to do that um, but anyway, I had a whole chicken, okay? So in this, I have my two legs, my two thighs, one half of a breast, and my two wings, okay? There I am, not having the camera on it again. Um, see how I'm just dropping it down in here now? And that's the chicken pieces that I have in this skillet. I saved the other for, uh making chicken and dumplings, which was one big old half of a breast and uh, the back and the ribs. And I will take those and boil those up and, uh, let me get me a spoon, and boil those up 
and make chicken and dumplings out of the other half of the chicken. But, okay, let me turn this down a little bit. See, so I'm just going to take this. I want to get my gravy pushed up on it, and I'll come back from time to time and check on it so you can see all them little onion bits and stuff from that onion soup mix. That stuff is just the bomb, y'all. That stuff works for, I don't know what it don't work for. But, and see how thin my gravy is right now? So that's going to let it be able to cook in there. And I'll just walk away from this, and this is going to cook for a good while. I'll, I'll see how long I do it. I'll time it and see, and that way I can tell y'all how long I did it for. But there it is. I've got that in there now. All I'm going to do is take me a lid and put on it and turn my fire down real low. And uh, when it's done after a while, I'll come back and show you. And, oh, just in case, every now and then you might watch it and see if your gravy's uh, cooked down some or whatever, just add you some more water to it. Just add you some more water, stir it around in there very gently and stuff and everything, and just put your lid right back on it, okay? All right, we'll see the end results after a while. All right, everybody, it's done. I wanted to show you the end results here. I made us a pot of rice and... Went out there and uh, Buzz brought me in some of his green onions. And I got some of the uh, fresh parsley and stuff from uh, Texas U.S. Farms. And I cut that up in there and some butter and salt and boiled that in my rice. And then I got the uh, carrots and I roasted them in the oven. I have my uh, fresh dill, fresh parsley. There's garlic pods all in there roasted with the carrots and um, some green onions in there. Did a little bit of salt and stuff. And then... The chicken, look at that, and I said I was going to tell y'all, I uh, simmered it in this gravy for uh, just over an hour, just over an hour, okay, so look at this, I wanted y'all to see, and see the gravy thickened up and stuff, can you see how it's doing there, and now your chicken's all tender and everything, Cut up a little green onion there at the end with that and a little more of the parsley dill on it just to add some freshness to it. So I, I will just set it down right here, kind of like this maybe. Let me see if I can prop this up here enough. Build a plate and show y'all. We'll just take it and I'm just going to get him some of the chicken on here. If I can keep from making a mess. Yep, okay. Do some of these carrots on here for him. Got some of them garlic pods in there roasted with it. Those will be good bites as well. Should be for a Nice supper. Do a little bit of gravy over the rice like that. And set it down here and I'll show you the finished product. There's your, your plate. Let me see if I can do that better. There we go. It looks kind of funny on this old red plate, but... Maybe that works. Does that look like something you'd feed your family? Good stuff, y'all. Y'all give that a try. And uh, do your smothered chicken. And, uh, you know, you can do potatoes with it or whatever you want if you don't like rice. And find you another veggie on the side. And anyway, like I say, that's, you know, that's half of a chicken there. That's just half of a chicken. So you get a huge nice skillet full of your gravy and your chicken and all that that'll that'll feed a family absolutely so y'all have a great evening try this dish and uh, let me know how it turns out for you in the kitchen with tally Faye.